Some scattered showers on Saturday, fewer yesterday. We do have a few more that are showing up on radar today, though uh, nothing like what we had last week with Francine. But again, ground is saturated. We need a period here to dry out and getting a few scattered showers in the river parishes south of Taft and out toward Hondville and then crossing the river into Destrehan, getting in on some of this light moderated with a few pockets of some heavier downpours as well along on the West Bank and really more over some of the marshier areas, but inching a little bit closer to Wag. West Wego and continuing toward Marrero. So got some showers on the West Bank. Looks like maybe some of those are starting to cross over the river into the River Bend area with some light rainfall there and really a little bit more of an intense thunderstorm. Nothing severe, but just to the west of La Rose, I mean, just to the east of La Rose, although that storm is firing or kind of weakening as this has really been the only rain that we've seen so far today. We've had a few little pop up showers here and there, and this is all from a broad little upper disturbance, which will likely keep our rain chances around again for tomorrow before we see a drier period going forward toward the weekend. At the moment, we've seen kind of a mix of sun cloud cover and then at times mostly cloudy skies. Where we've had the shower activity 87 is our current reading right now with a dew point of 72, but we were just briefly able to inch up to 90 degrees, not a record 98 on this day back in 2018, but we are running just a little bit above our normal high of 88. So even though we are in the last days of summer, spring or excuse me, fall, spring, fall officially begins on Sunday. Normal highs are still in the upper 80s, so we're not too far off of where our average is for this time of year. Dew points, some upper 60s, but generally in the lower 70s, so it has been a little bit more humid over the last couple of days. Light winds out of the north and sometimes kind of changing direction. So we'll see some spotty to even widely scattered showers during the day tomorrow. A little bit less though for Wednesday. Then we will stay dry wrapping up the week heading into the weekend and even into early next week. And as mentioned, the first day of fall is on Sunday, but we are still going to be warm. The start of fall does not necessarily bring with it a cold front. And unfortunately, I'm not seeing any real strong cold fronts in the forecast for the next seven to 10 days, but at least the upper pattern is favoring this northerly flow. Now, as I mentioned, we do have this broad upper level disturbance, which is helping to keep some instability around and triggering a few spotty showers. Some models a little bit more aggressive than others with our rain chances during the day tomorrow, but I think kind of like today, 30, 40%. So not everyone will see the rain, but those that do could get in on a decent little soaking. But at this point, we don't need any more rain. Those rain chances start to diminish by Wednesday and then on Thursday, we're going to see kind of this weak front move on through. Don't get too excited. This is not one of the fall fronts I've been talking about. What it might help to do is help kind of bring down the humidity a bit because the upper pattern is actually going to favor that northerly flow staying over us. Now, this upper feature is actually associated with potential tropical cyclone eight off the Carolina coast. We'll talk more about that in a second, but no, we kind of get a reinforcement of that northerly flow for Thursday into the weekend, and I think that will help to lower the humidity a bit. Really all it's going to do is probably allow those morning lows to get a few degrees lower. But as we head further into the weekend and next week, an upper ridge starts building in. What that leads to dry weather, lots of sunshine and still on the warm side. So we will be wrapping up summer heading into fall dry, but also very warm with highs upper 80s, maybe at times within that upper high near 90 degrees. Only two areas being monitored in the Atlantic. One is tropical depression. Gordon It's expected to redevelop as a storm, but notice it is going to stay out over the open Atlantic. And as I'd mentioned, we do have PTC number eight. No additional development is expected for the next seven days. So the aside from those two features, there is nothing else anticipated to develop through this weekend. And that puts us later into September. Again, the further into the season we get, the less chance of any tropical activity. And this is PTC number eight. Dry air and wind shear really keeping this from organizing and it is now on land. So the chance of development is basically down to zero. So thankfully for the Carolinas, not a name storm, but still a big rainmaker. Sometimes even the unnamed storms can have some decent impacts. About a 30, maybe 40% chance during the day tomorrow. We'll see that rain chance drop off a little bit more by Wednesday. We get that slightly less humid air, mainly by Friday onto the weekend. This Sunday is the first day of fall.